Hello everybody and thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino and perhaps I'll be making one last Mac video, a very brief one, before I venture into other topics. But it is a question which has been asked by now like a million times in relation to my nice ancient 20 euro MacBook <laughs> from 2009 on which I have installed Monterey. And well, last time I told you that the camera was not working and everybody was suggesting all sorts of patches, which I did not apply because I found a workaround to get the camera working. So let me clap up our little friend here. All right, now what the status is presently. I have installed Monterey with the open core legacy patcher, but when I double click photo booth, like the microphone is working, but the camera is not. And as you can see here, uh, <laughs> there's no image of me. Down here there is though. So apparently this thing was working at some point and I'll show you how. So you don't double click, click this thing because when you do that, that's what you see. Like everything's grayed out and you don't have a camera. But when you control and click, let me show you here the keyboard. Okay, so I'm con pressing control and now I'm clicking. Then I'm getting this menu, which is telling me here, let me get you closer so you can see it. Show package contents. You see this? So we will be looking at the package contents right now. Actually, let me keep you a little bit closer, even if you get seasick. <laughs> And then we see that this program is in reality having such a folder. It's also reflected, in fact, in its directory path, right? And there is some blah, blah, blah everywhere here. And of interest is such a file called InfoPlist. And InfoPlist is responsible for setting up a little bit the Mac OS environment before running a program. And for whatever reason, this does not seem to be setting up the environment very correctly. So when I double click things, then the program gets opened using this info P list for information, but because the information seems to be improper, the camera is not actually detected. So instead of that, I go to MacOS and then I'm having here this uh, <laughs> uh, weird exec file, which seems to be the true actual program. Mm -hmm. And now when I double click that, then it starts in a shell. It does not start cutely, it starts in a terminal. And not only does it start in a terminal, but it starts actually working. So yeah, hi, that's yours truly. <laughs> and as you can see, we now have a working camera, yeah, watching you, watching me, like an interview with a vampire. Uh, <laughs> so you can see this workaround is actually working. We do have a camera. I heartily greet you. Only thing you need to do is to open the program with the help of control, then go to the package contents, then go to the Mac OS folder, and then open everything from there. And now that I have closed the camera, I can also close that window and close that window and the camera adventure is over. So that's really all there is to it. I did not need to install any patches. I am using this workaround and I am happy with it. But I thought it is also noteworthy because it works in a lot of other circumstances. Many times when a program does not want to open, you just need to go to its contents, the macOS folder or something like that, find it there and basically launch it directly circumventing the info P list. So I hope you found today's episode useful. I hope to greet you here soon again, next time likely with a non-Mac topic if I'm sincere. See you then. I wish you till then a wonderful time and from me, goodbye.